Okay, today we're going to be talking about Studio Series 86 Hot Rod and what my thoughts on it and just a review. And um, just from looking at it, he's pretty good. Um, I like how he looks. I like how slim his backpack is. Um, I would say that like kind of my only problem with it is that these are noticeable from the front, but like, I, d I really don't care, because everything else just looks so good. And, um, I think just overall, he's a good figure, like, just looking at him, and not messing with him. But then, when you get into his features and stuff, you'll see why I think he's pretty good. Worth $30, instead of 20 I don't know, but you it, it's your it's your choice. But uh, let's look at the accessories. He comes with two blast effects, which I actually do think Hasbro should be including more, which I'll make a separate video on. So two blast effects that can plug into his like side guns that are on his arms, so he can get some. You also can flip out his glasses or goggles. Glasses. You can have them shoot star screen, and um, so that's what you can do. You can also flip out his like wielding tool to wield back cup, wield cup together, which I find really cool. And then on the other hand, you have this peg. And I'm pretty sure it's not five millimeter. So, but you can plug in his saw. If I can plug it in. And you have his saw. Which I think re looks really, really nice. I like this feature too. I think it's really good. And then, you also have, you come with two guns. But I, if you saw my other video, I used the other one to make into a cheetor's gun. But here is this one. They're Almost the same, except the other one was a lot smoother. Don't have as much greebling on it. Looked a tiny bit different. And then you can just plug into his hand. You can attach the blast effect compatible. So you can have him shoot. And if you saw when I was putting in his his weapons into his hands, just moving him. He has opening hands. That's really cool. Like, you can do so many poses with this. You can have him, um, I don't know, talking to Prime. You can have him catch the Matrix when Prime tries giving it to Ultra Magnus. So many different things you can do. So, and then he can, you know, now let's get into his, how he can move. There's a waist, which you can go all the way around. He can ha he has a double joint right here. So you can have him do that. He can get out that far. For his his shoulders kinda of placed in a weird way. And his like chest gets in the way, so he can kind of get like a forward butterfly. No backward. Um elbow a little bit more than an more than a ninety. Uh can't go back. A far his head on the ball joints. So yeah, that's really his articulation. I would say oh and also ankle tilt. Ankle up and down a little bit. So you can get him to some pretty dynamic poses. And so that's really the robot mode. He has some really nice painting on his face and everywhere else. It looks really, really nice. And he feels nice too. He's very nice to play with. Like he feels good to touch. Like some other figures. Mostly this guy, which I will do a review in the future, but his plastic like feels like it's gonna break or it just feels off a little bit. But this feels like it's gonna last you. Now if we get into the transformation, which will happen right now
Okay, so this vehicle mode is pretty good. I say it's kind of it's really accurate. And uh, let's see, it's, it tidies up kind of nicely, except for the back. You can see his legs, but I don't think anyone's displaying their vehicle mode like this. But if you do mistransform it, kind of. Kind of rolls real weird in, so you can tell kind of obviously. You can plug in his blast effects because they're like on like the step kind of peg. You can plug it into the back so it looks like he's like, it's, uh, he's like accelerating really quickly or something. You can also plug in his gun if I can do that. That so it looks like he's just shooting up. Can also plug it into the saw if you have the other one. And you can do that. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but like this gun is very, the paint on it is very fragile. It's already chipping, and underneath is ripped plastic. So, yay. Um, this piece, just to be careful, is clear plastic, so you're gonna want want to watch out for that, but overall, this is a very nice vehicle mode, some nice paint in the front, now this is a fake chest, it's not the chest that we see in the robot mode, which some people won't like, I'm fine with it, um, it would have been cool if they could, you know, figure out how to get the chest from the robot mode onto the vehicle mode, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, this is his vehicle mode, and that's been the review for this figure. I'll see you guys next time.